So you guys remember this wig, right? Well, I'm going to show you how I styled it from this to this. So for this full wig, I used the Cuban twist. I used three packs. I had a weave mesh cap and a latch hook needle. For the shorter ends of the hair, I cut it in half first, pulled the ends. Then I cut it in half one more time and I pulled the ends as well. Now, if you haven't gotten a chance to see my crochet wig making 101 tips, make sure you check that out. But all I'm doing here is just crocheting the short hair into this net weaving cap. Once I was done here with the back half of the wig, I took the last two packs and just used it to cut in half to fill in the top portion of the wig. Now here I did a little bit of cutting and shaping. Uh, tried to shape it somewhat into a bob, even though I knew I was going to have this as a more of a tapered cut, but I was gonna do that after I have curled it. And here you see I have a couple of, well I have a box full of um, perm rods in different sizes, and I used that to curl the hair. So I had a pot of boiling water and I also had a tea kettle of water boiling. And what I ended up doing is I had put the wig into a bowl. I poured all the water from the kettle in first and then filled the rest of the bowl up with the water from the pot. And I made sure that it set in there for more than a couple of seconds, maybe close to 30 seconds if not almost a minute the longer you leave it in the better the curls will uh, be created and the longer it stays so here you see me unraveling the rollers or the perm rods out of the hair and i am going to carefully um, break apart some of the curls and fluff this to give it a little bit more uh, fullness in the back as well as in the top So here I'm using some shears and I'm just cutting each curl down throughout my entire wig until I get the shape that I want. So I hope you liked this video, thumbs up if you liked it, and stay tuned for styling videos on the other three, and I will see you guys in the next video.